Hey there everybody, it's Katarina from Belt of Desserts and today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to make the most delicious vegan frosting ever. If I had to describe my ideal icing, there would be a few very important qualities and traits. The consistency would have to be smooth and soft and silky. It's gotta hold up, not move, not come apart. It can't taste vegan. It's gotta taste buttery and sweet, but not too sweet. You know, like Swiss meringue frosting sweet, but not like super like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get diabetes eating this entire cupcake sweet. It's gotta be a nice fine balance. Oh, one more thing. It's also gotta be able to be versatile with any flavor or color so I can do whatever the heck I want with it. So do you think this icing is impossible? Because believe it or not, I'm gonna make it for you right now. So first things first, let's cream our butter. I'm gonna pour my butter into my mixing bowl and I'm going to mix it on high speed for about two minutes until it becomes a lot lighter and whiter. This is important to ensure that our buttercream is an extra beautiful white color. You're gonna to wanna to use a non-dairy butter that is stable at room temperature. You wanna leave it out for about six to eight hours until it's soft enough that you can push your finger into it and leave a nice divot, but it's not super soft that it's melting completely. While that's mixing, I'm going to combine the non-dairy milk with my icing sugar and my soy isolate protein and I'm going to whisk it until it is well combined. You absolutely have to use an isolate protein. There is no way around this. Without it, our frosting could end up being a lot more runny and that's where in a lot of traditional vegan frostings, they use things like shortening or a ton more icing sugar than we're using in this recipe. Now that the butter's all creamed and fluffy, it's time to add in the slurry of milk and sugar and and protein. So this is the point where things start getting a little bit freaky. Your frosting is going to go through three visual phases over the course of time that it whips. It's going to go through the cottage cheese phase, the cheese curd phase, and it's going to end on what I like to call the fluffy mayonnaise phase. Fluffy mayonnaise phase, you can lift your beater right out of the mixer. It stabilizes, it is soft. It should look something like this. You're going to take the entire bowl and you're gonna stash this right into your fridge or the freezer preferably for at least half an hour to an hour. You want this to completely solidify. And then we're going to rewhip it all over again. Because this frosting wants to make our lives miserable. I'm just kidding, this frosting is amazing and it's totally worth the work, don't even worry about it. And that's it guys, that's how to make the best vegan, non-dairy, egg-free icing. You can use this icing on anything from cupcakes to cakes to cookies. The sky is the limit. Just get creative. If you like this video, there are so many more where that came from. Please subscribe and stay up to date with everything Dalt of Desserts. And be sure to check us out on Instagram or Facebook and share all of your iced creations with us there. Thanks for watching.